Yo, what is going on guys? It is Rain here, back it again with a brand new Superpower Training Simulator video. And today guys, I got something pretty cool to show you, okay? So, you go over here to the leaderboard, and we scroll down a little bit. We're not at the top, but you go to about 24, or no, we're at 23 now. And there we are guys, we're on the top leaderboard for um, 100 most powerful superhumans. We have 258 trillion total power. Like, isn't it cool just thinking that only 22 people have more power than I do? But there's a little trick to that and a little downside to it as well. Now, tons of people could actually kill me in this game because my body toughness is actually pretty low compared to my psychic power. The way I got that was, if you go to menu here, you look at my stats, my psychic power is absolutely insane. I don't think that many people have more psychic power than me. Maybe like 10 total people have more psychic power than me. So pretty much any server I go to, nobody's going to be able to see me. But guys, this is really insane. 258 trillion psychic power. All I did was spend days and days grinding on this island. I started here, then I moved up to here, and then finally I got to the bridge. And I just sat here for a while, and look how much it gives you. Hold up, let me go into the sky. And look how much it gives you every time. It gives you 2 billion psychic power every single time, which is insane. Like, just imagine how long it takes you to get 1 billion, and then you go on this bridge and instantly get 2 billion in like a second. Like, honestly, it goes up way too fast when you're doing it like this. But I definitely consider us one of the strongest players in this game, at least our psychic power is. The Hellfire ability requires you to have 100 times more psychic power than the other person. It doesn't rely on fist strength. It doesn't rely on fist anymore, so that's why fist is kind of useless to me. The only reason I'm gonna get my fist up is probably for the special quest so I can get the new ability, the reaper ability. But otherwise, the fist is only for the fireball and the beam thing, so it's not really that useful to me. Because the reaper ability and hellfire both require psychic power. I think the reaper ability requires you to have a thousand times more psychic power than the person. And then the, the hellfire one requires you to only have a hundred times more. But that's just why I've been focusing on psychic way more than body toughness. See, as you can see, we can pretty much destroy anybody in the server we want to. Like, if I press N on this person, dead. Alright, this person next. Oh, who's this guy that just came here? He's like a lawbreaker too. And he's dead. That's it, he's gone, he's off the leaderboard as well. Alright, and then this guy. He's just like hiding here in the little corner. He runs away thinking he can survive, but nah. Can't survive Hellfire. Also guys, I want to give you a little bit of a leak for the next update that's coming out. Now, the developer of Superpower Training Simulator, well, I believe he's like the scripter or something. There's like two guys. But the scripter, I believe, he said this. So as a YouTuber, what feature do you think I should add into the game? I plan on adding codes and a really cool thing for YouTubers, I don't want to spill the tea, and a disguise command so you guys don't get recognized. So basically what he said there is we're going to be getting codes, maybe it's going to be like an exclusive code. Like if he gave me a personal code, that'd be really cool to give out to my channel. Like I just give you guys like code Rainway and it gives you guys a thousand codes. I don't think it will be personal, but it would be really cool if it is. And then he also says he's going to make a disguise command so we don't get recognized. Now basically the reason he's adding that is because, hold on, let me scroll up a little bit. And before that, he said, I saw your video. It's really funny. Don't attack me if you're only going to hurt yourself. Do you understand yourself right now? So he's basically quoting one of my videos. I'm not sure if we would add that, but I'll consider it. And the reason he said that is because I was asking him, I'm like, just an idea, but perhaps VIP members could get 10 tokens a minute instead of 5, because it does say times 2 all rewards. So I was just thinking that maybe VIP people should get 10 instead of 5, because if you do the math, guys, so let's say you're in-game for 60 minutes, okay? Times 5. That is 300 tokens an hour, okay? Then let's say you're in game for 24 hours, a whole entire day, just like non-stop grinding, times 24. And bam, you only get 7,200 tokens. But as a VIP, you'd get 10 instead of 5, so it would double that. And you'd get 14,000 tokens a day, implying you're playing the game 24-7. So I just thought it would be a really good idea. I don't know about you guys, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. But then he says, I am also going to add a disguise command so you guys don't get recognized after seeing many videos. I feel like that's what you need. I also asked him if it's just going to be for YouTubers or if it's going to be for everybody. And he said it's just going to be for YouTubers as well. So I guess I'm going to be able to go to settings or something like that. And there's going to be like a little thing I can activate to disguise myself. And it's not going to show my name because if you look in chat, guys, everybody was like, did you see Rainway? And they all noticed that I was in game here, so I don't want people recognizing me when I'm trying to troll people. So that's kind of why he's doing it. I guess it's gonna like disguise my character, automatically make me a noob or something. And it'll help me out with my noob disguise trolling videos. Because I know you guys really do love those videos, that series did really good. Like each one is getting like 100k views or something insane like that. But enough of me talking guys, I think you want to see me destroy everybody with my psychic power. So let's hop right into that. So first victim, right here, he's chilling on the rock. Let's go. 
Bam! Got him. Other guy who looks like SpongeBob. Whoa, SpongeBob, get back here. SpongeBob! There we go. Get out of here, SpongeBob. Not today. So that guy must have, like, the Headless Horseman package, which costs 31,000 Robux to be able to make that outfit. Okay, I just got, like, one-shotted by somebody. That's because my body temp is, isn't that strong. But hold up, guys. We gotta go get back that guy. Thinks he can do that to us and get away with it. So I just got killed, but hold up. I don't know who did it. It was probably SpongeBob. He's like, nope, he only has psychic power. There we go. We got him. He's gone. See, psychic power is probably the most useful in the game because you can't really get killed with it, guys. I mean, you can if you just stand still and stuff, but otherwise they can't really hit you that much because they can't use their Reaper ability on you. You can't get killed by Ghost Riders. You're invisible, so nobody can really see you in the game. I just keep killing the SpongeBob guy, and I'm waiting for him to, like, talk and chat and get really mad. He probably can't kill me. I just killed you. Like, I definitely just killed you, I think, right? I killed you multiple times, actually, in this video. What are you on about? I meant with R or F. Yeah, okay. You're, I can't kill him with that. He's right, but I can kill you with the probably the most important thing. It gives you absolutely no chance. I really do think I should get my body toughness up because I don't want to be dying every five seconds to people. But guys, it's so difficult to get body toughness up because look at this, okay? So you go down here to this place. Well, let me go on the floor. All right, let me walk very slowly. So you go in here to this place, okay? And it requires one billion body toughness. Okay, not bad. Gives us about two million each time. Then you go over here. 100 billion body toughness. Alright, that's pretty cool. I have 100 billion body toughness. Let's actually hop right in there. Then bam, you look at my uh, health bar and it slowly drains me of health. So it takes way more than 100 billion to actually survive in here. Kind of sucks and that's why I kind of didn't like focus on it. So if I was to give advice to some of you players, I'd probably focus on psychic power first and then go to body toughness. Because if you're a smart player, you can't really get killed with psychic power, even though I just got killed a little bit ago. But that was because I was being stupid, I was just standing still. And that guy had some really big fireballs, like way bigger than mine. Like you see, that's my normal size, his was like, probably triple that. See, look, there, there they are. Look how big they are, oh my gosh. Alright guys, so here we are in a new server, and this is where I go full rampage mode. I'm just gonna go around and slaughter everybody in each server, well, this server, I'm not gonna join a new one. Well, hopefully I don't have to, unless like a ton of people just recognize me again. Also, I don't know why, but I like zooming in when I'm attacking. I guess it just makes it feel better. But here we go, okay? This guy is shooting, like, a ton of people. What is even happening here? What are they doing? <laughs> like, actually, what are they shooting at? I'm confused right now. You know what? We're just gonna end them all. There we go. We ended that little party they were having, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. So they pretty much all got destroyed besides this one lonely bacon hair. I'm not going to hurt him, okay? I kind of feel bad for him. He's just a little guy, all right? But they're over here like, what was that? Oh my gosh. Who is doing that? They can't even tell it's me either because I'm going away so fast after I do it. Like, I know a lot of people wonder why I back up every time I shoot somebody. And that's just so they don't recognize me. Because as soon as you, like, use your ability, it actually makes you uninvisible. So they can see you for a split second before you turn it back on. So that's why I like go away as fast as I can so they can't see me. It seems like the majority of the server is like Spanish people so they don't really recognize us because I don't really think I have that many Spanish people like watching my videos. I mean, I probably have a good amount but none that really just like just speak Spanish. It's like they either speak Spanish and English otherwise they wouldn't understand my videos. Alright, but there's a couple people here. Hold up. Bam. Bam. And, bam. Okay, so those three guys who were just trying to farm up and grind, they all got destroyed. Also guys, a lot of people told me in the comment section below, if you're going visible at nighttime, and you put on your, uh, what's it called, your Ghost Rider ability or whatever, the transformation, it'll actually just appear as like a floating head. Let's see if that works. Okay, yeah, so we'd look like a floating head, so I'm thinking about doing this for a video, but I'll just like go around following people with the floating head and see how they react to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like always, smash that like button below. Phone, please. I'm trying to record my outro. Can you not... Let me turn this off. Okay, um...
Where were we? Oh yeah, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.